Thatcher can be hard for us to remember a world of exchange controls, of monopolised state-controlled telecoms. It can be hard for us to remember all of this world. What we can occasionally get a little preview of is how it felt to be facing decline. How every, that moment when you feel in that pit of your stomach, doesn't it look hopeless? Doesn't it look horrendous? Doesn't the economic situation look grim? Doesn't the political situation feel uh, corrupt and uh, lost? That moment that we have when we're in, the, when the black dog takes us to quote another, another great 20th century prime minister, that moment was the conventional wisdom. That moment was uh, the was a generation before Margaret Thatcher, where it was accepted that relative decline was Britain's place, was Britain's future, was what we had to try and manage, was what we had to try and live with. The fact that no one ever should see that as inevitable is Margaret Thatcher, I think Margaret Thatcher's greatest legacy to us. She also left us with, I think, a quote that is right at the core of everything we try to do. There is no such thing as public money. about there is no such thing as a society is saying exactly the same thing. It's saying there is no society which is going to step in and solve our problems. There is no society which is going to turn things around. It's us. It's us doing what we can to support ourselves, support our families, support our communities, support our nation. And now that's what we have to try and do again. Now as we face the kind of mistakes, the kind of uh, the kind of disastrous mistakes which have ended this country in a position of decline once again. That's what we need to try and turn around. And she did that not just in the UK but abroad. A few years ago, I remember we uh, hosted uh, a conference here in London at the, G the gala dinner. Uh, Baroness Thatcher was good enough to come along and meet some of the delegates. They come from all over the world. One of them had come from Cuba. Uh, she came to him, she was being introduced to people one by one. She came to his and said, hello, I'm, I can't remember his name, uh, I'm from Cuba. And, and she looks up at him, I can remember what she said. She looks, at him, she looks up at him and said, one day, your country will be free too. She looks up, and at that moment, he broke down and cried. This guy, because what he was again was someone who had been the face of freedom for a generation. A face of freedom, not just of those who she saved from, from socialism, who she saved from dictatorship and saved our freedom. But those countries where she couldn't. Remain, she remains a beacon and needs to be a beacon for the future, a beacon for liberty, a beacon for freedom. And a beacon for us never accepting the relative decline is, is, is Britain's future. Never accepting that we can ever leave Britain's future to either to fatalism or that it will somehow turn around, that society will fix it for us. There is only us. We are there now. We no longer have her to save us. We need to get out there and fight for Britain's future, fight to defend and maintain the legacy and the brilliance of Baroness Thatcher. Thank you so much for being here.